The Sephora Savings Event is here. AKA VIB, whatever you want to call it, it's here. Está aquí. <laughs> so we're going to get into this video, which is what's in my Sephora cart. Like my wish list, Sephora cart, whatever you want to call that. This is it. This is it. And I went back and forth. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not. Because I was like, I'm trying to save a little bit of money. Like, do I really want to purchase? Even though I have been purchasing products. Like, so I have been shopping. But yeah, we're going to get into this list. No, not list. We're going to get into my cart. We're going to get into my cart and see what I got up in there. But we can jump right into it. But first, I want to say, hey, what's good? It's your boy Onex. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. And if you're down to see what's going on in my Sephora cart for the Sephora Savings event, stay right there. <laughs> let's get it. There go. I'm all over the place. You know, let's go. The savings event is starting. I'm going to go over it really quickly. The tiers and stuff. We have Sephora collection is 30% off. And that's from 4 5 to 415 um and everybody gets that sale which i'm gonna be using that code oh the code is yay save yeah i'm gonna have it on the screen for you guys and rouge is 20 percent off which that's the group i'm in it starts four or five and ends 415 and vib is 15 percent off which is four nine that's when that starts to 415 that's when it ends and then insider is 10 percent off which is starts on the uh on the ninth four nine and all the way to the 15th so yeah that's the little sale not the sale well that's the tears it is free to join you know you get birthday gift you save stuff you know it, it's it's a lot of perks to it so i would definitely check it out you know what i mean uh yeah so let me scoot on over and we'll jump into my cart all right, so I have 21 items in my cart. That is bonkers, dude, bonkers. It says $712 is the total so far. That's without like discounts and stuff. But we're gonna start with the first product, which is from Give. We have the Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint. It's in another shade, which is Biscuit. Biscuit? Bouquet? What was that, Bouquet? Biscuit, I don't know where I got that from. Bouquet, 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 which is pink. I like the formula of the Dewy Plump um, collagen cheek tint. It's sheer. You can build it up a tiny bit. It looks very uh, dewy on the skin. It's really nice. Um, and I think the colors they have are beautiful. I have one already. That's why I know I like the formula. <laughs> I definitely would like to purchase another one. Um... And it says that medium coverage, radiant finish, plumping, hyaluronic acid. Um, yeah, I felt like it was a little tint that you can build it up a little bit, just a little bit. The other product is the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel in the same shade of Bouquet. That's like their pink shade, not like a cool tone. It's like a like a neutral pink. I think it's a really pretty pink. All of a sudden, I'm into pink, like. Um, so I got that in my cart, but I don't think I'm going to get that because I'm not, I'm not loving the formula of the gels from, um, you know, the lip gels from Give, but I have to use a little bit of it. I have to wear it very sheared out. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get that. I think that will be coming out of my cart. I want some of the Sephora Collection Pro Brushes. So the first one here we have is the Pro Powder Brush, they're number 50, um, and it costs $34. But remember, 30% off of that. I wonder if you get 30% off of that and then another 20%. I'm not sure, I never bought, I never bought a Sephora product. Anyway, this looks like a nice uh, powder brush. It kind of reminds me of this brush from Jaclyn and Morphe, the GH01. I love this for a powder foundation to just throw it all over the face really quickly. So it kind of reminds me of like of this type of brush, but a little more tapered than this, but similar to this. What it says, a unique 
tapered brush head that is designed to easily apply powder into the skin to set and finish any look. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a brush that I would like. I really want to try the Savoir brushes. I think my goal is just to buy five products. That's kind of my... Kind of kept going back and forth. I didn't really want to purchase anything, but then I want to purchase something, take advantage of the sale. Um, I'm not sure. All right, next product is the Makeup Forever uh, Artist Longwear Skin Fusing Matte Powder Bronzer. And I'm really loving some Makeup Forever right now. And they have four shades. It's $36. Now we have a Sephora Collection Pro Bronzer Brush, which is the number 88. It's $34. I think that one is a, uh, what is that, like a, a cream one? Yeah, cream formula. This actually won a Allura 2023 Best of Beauty Award. Anyway, it says coverage, buildable, it's synthetic, it's for cream products. It looks, it looks promising. It looks promising. I was looking into the new Milk Makeup Cloud Glow Priming Foam Brightening with Turmeric Primer. Um, I do get some Milk Makeup products in PR. They haven't sent me that one. Um, but just in case I was thinking about purchasing it. Or another Sephora brush, the Pro Highlighting brush which is the number 98 uh which is $30 it looks beautiful that highlighting brush that is my preferred style of highlighting brush and a small domed highlighting brush for a tapered application of all highlighter formulas mm, since it's synthetic it can probably you know you can use like that Super shock shadow type of formula, a regular powder formula, you know what I mean? So it's probably very versatile. Oh, the number 99 brush, which is a blush brush. It is like a chunky, fluffy, like powder brush. That's 30 bucks. A pro foundation brush, which is the number 64. That's $30 as well. Now the pro foundation brush, they have three different foundation brushes. One for a light coverage, the other one for a medium, and then another one for full coverage. This one is the light coverage brush. You know, I'm down for that. Like, I'm down for that. That's my preferred foundation um, type, I guess. Wear or finish. There we go. Oh, I like the shape of this one right here. The Pro Powder Brush, the number 59, $34 as well. The angle of this, the shape of this brush... Looks like something that can go under the eye or in precise application. Like, I like precise application for a brush, a blush brush, no, a powder brush. I'm, uh, I don't know how to say it. I like a more precise application when it comes to like powder placement. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, my makeup is not the best today, so let's use that. I tried too many new products. That just some of them are not gelling with each other. Oh, we have the Best Skin Days SPF 30 Whipped Tinted Moisturizer with Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. It's $48. It's from Iris and Romeo. That brand really, like, intrigues me. So, yeah, like I said, that's a tinted moisturizer in a jar. In a jar. It's interesting. Um, I've never seen a moisturizer. No, not... I've never seen a tinted moisturizer in a little jar. Uh, it has me intrigued because maybe you could dip your brush in there and apply it. Possibly. You know what I mean? Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Longwear Full Face Cream Palette. I have the light to medium one in my cart. $88. I've always wanted one of those. Like, I really always wanted one of those. They have two of them. They have the one that says palette number two, deep to tan, no, tan to deep. Um, and then they have the light to medium one, which that's the one I would use. They're both beautiful, though. They're both beautiful. I didn't know you could use that all over the face. It looks so beautiful. And I think they're small palettes. So, I mean, but $88, like, you would need it in a deal. Of course, the Rare Beauty 
Soft Pinch Luminous Pressed Blushes. I have Hope and Joy. So two shades. One I think is more pink and the other one is obviously a peachy shade. A peachy shade. They're $26. I definitely want to pick up one at least. I have to figure out which one I want. It's a luminous blush, and I'm into that. Like, a whole luminous look, I will be into it. And, you know, those blushes are really pretty. Well, like, I mean, yeah, they look pretty. They say that you're supposed to use them on top of their cream blushes, which I have two shades of the cream blushes, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I'm just not a huge liquid blush person. You know what I mean? And I have a few more Sephora brushes. I have the Pro Concealer Brush, which is the 71. That costs $22. They have a couple of them. I think they have two or three brushes. Then they have the Pro Bronzer Brush, number 80. It's $34. It's a fluffy brush, probably like a smaller than this type of brush. And then the last one is the Pro Blush Brush, the 96, which is $30. That one looks like a, um, it looks like something like this. And I'm starting to get into these brushes. I don't apply, mm, maybe I, no, it looks a little more, you know what, I'm, I, I might take that out because I don't think I'm going to like something like that. For blush, it's not, I've learned how to use this for powder and for bronzer, but blush is very difficult with this type of brush. I had an angled brush. What happened to my angled brush? All right, here we go. The Sephora Collection Pro Blush. No. Yeah, Blush Brush. 93. It's an angled brush. It looks beautiful. I just bought some BK Beauty brushes. I got them from TikTok shop. Um, They were like 40% off or something like that. That's the only time I will purchase a BK Beauty brush. Anyway, I want to try out the Pro brushes from uh sephora collection i heard they're bomb and i'm in i'm looking for new brushes i'm looking for new brushes um yeah that's just i want to try some new stuff you know what i mean so yeah that's my cart that's my cart and we will see what i purchase i'm not sure exactly what it is i'm gonna purchase but yeah yeah so that's everything that i have in my cart i am excited i'm not sure what it is I might not buy anything. Who knows? I'm definitely not buying those seventy, seven hundred and twelve dollars worth of products. I will probably pick five products, if anything. Maybe a um, Rare Beauty blush. Maybe three brushes from Sephora, and then something else. Mm, maybe the Makeup Forever bronzer or the. Maybe the ABH Beauty Balm Serum, because I like stuff like that. You will definitely see a haul of the products I buy. You you guys will be the first one, but I will be having a different haul coming up, like a try-on haul, so, so I could try all those products out. And, uh, you know, I just got the Laura Mercier Pressed Powder, the new one, uh, which I'm playing around with it, and I'm not sure what I think about it. I'm not sure. Definitely let me know if you enjoy this video. Let me know down below if you purchase anything. Are you picking anything up? Are you eyeing anything? Let a brother know. And I will check you out next time. Deuces.